Nick Hart from Backstreet Boys. Shout out to Boy Band Break. It's Christian Patrick here. Shout out to your podcast, Boy Band Break. Hey everybody, this is Howie D, and I'm listening to Boy Band Break. Hi, Ashley Parker and Angel here. Huge shout out to the Boy Band Break podcast. This is Brad from LFO, and you are listening to Boy Band Break. Hey, what's up? This is Jacob. It's Dan. What's up? It's Trevor. And it's Eric Michael, and it's time for Boy Band Break, baby. Let's go! Oh, bam, 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 bam. Let's go! Welcome back to Boy Band Break, where we encourage you to take a break from your day and join us in some boy band conversa- conversation. As always, I'm Chinzia. I'm Sophia. We've only and been doing this podcast for six years. 300 some odd episodes and still cannot get the intro. But it's all yes, good. It's all good. Um, Lydia, aka Mama Lou, is off being a parent right now. She's uh, She has some uh, students that she's hosting from Japan. And uh, she is having an interesting time. There. It seems to be going uh, pretty well. Yeah, no, it's going well. Maybe like um, the day one or two things, this. but for the most part, it looks like it's going well. Yeah. So for the day we're recording this, Lydia has just dropped dropped off her second wave of students back to um, take the bus to go get the train the train the plane to fly back uh but the third wave is actually supposed to be coming tomorrow but apparently their flight was canceled was so there like an earthquake there possibly in japan i have no idea i think there was something like that something about an okay, earthquake so it'll probably get rescheduled but she doesn't know because right now she's supposed to be getting students tomorrow so i don't know if they're coming tomorrow or if it's going to be pushed back a few days so we'll see how it goes um but yes so hopefully she finds out like before that, tomorrow yes so she's in that little busy in between time where you're gonna like clean all the sheets and tidy up the house and go get more groceries and all that jazz and all that fun stuff yeah uh, but i just want to point out a really fun little thing that she was so the first batch she had two male students who were very quiet but then like would hang out with them at night and watch tv and stuff the second batch was three girls that would just go to their rooms at night and lydia's like okay and then one of them was saying that she wasn't feeling very included or whatever so then lydia's like okay well how do i get them more included and then i was like you know how you get teenage girls interested in hanging out friendship bracelet yes so friendship I have, bracelet's um, such a big deal nowadays and it was like huge and she said the one night they spent like six hours like crafting these bracelets for each other and themselves and their friend made some for lydia and kenny too so the oh, friendship so taylor swift you know with the friendship See, bracelet, she brought it back the trend else. is back the trend is there so yes yeah. yeah, so they're having well, some- i think back in the day was also uh, some people were saying this is not the taylor swift thing it's no, happened like before around for years and years but i was like kind of sure i feel like taylor swift has made it very popular like it's out there like people know why it is exactly. like this exactly here's one of the bracelets that i made i don't know if you can see very it. nice i still As have Nick ours that you made, made us. boy band break yes i also made some boy band break ones that we yes. gave out last year at nick's concert and you know what maybe we'll make some more for this year if the if the students have left any beads left but i went yeah. a little nutso and bought a lot of beads so i feel like we're probably to the point where they didn't even want to go to sleep like yes. so, yeah it was a big hit good job but he was like they went through two spools of the elastic and i was like okay i might need to get some more elastic but you can get that at the dollar store but anyway, they're nice cute. They're, cute. they're fun and i really liked these beads because they're like black with neon colors yes so, you can see it beautifully yes it pops Um, out and then i forgot that the beads in between are glow in the dark so sometimes at night i'll just look down and see like random glow in the dark beads on your wrist why is my wrist glowing right the glow in the dark beads you are just a glowing person like my glasses that glow in the dark which i scared myself on more than one occasion because i have a mirror right beside my light switch um and i turned off the light and then just these glowing glasses appeared and scared the shit out of me and then i forgot that i was wearing them so it was actually pretty cool uh because we went to the shrek mute the oh, musical right. and then when it, they turned the lights out down your glasses also glowed in the dark there and it was I like was oh that's that. so cool i love it be good good call because i forgot that we literally did this two days ago and we went to go see shrek the musical so we're going to just give you a quick peruse here of our pictures that sophia took on her camera because it's better uh so yes shrek the musical fall in love all ogre again ogre, uh, yeah. 
Uh, yes. So it's basically the first movie. So here we are. Yes. Our, we won free tickets. I won free tickets from CAA. So it was cool. Because you're a member. Because I am a member and I use their pro services. So I figured why not. So look yeah. at this. We have like dead center. Yeah. Pretty I thought it was good a good view. view. That was good. Yeah. Um, obviously we couldn't take any pictures. It's kind of like a gym. Oh my god, that's like a gym. Did you that see it? That is like a little animated uh, thing. Yeah. Uh, then because we had won through CAA, we also got to go to the lounge afterwards. We got yeah. Drink. The reception was so fun. Well, yeah, and they had like little Shrek themed things. So they had true love mac and cheese balls with sriracha yeah. ketchup. So they had that. And at the reception, had... you could uh, chat with the cast afterwards. The cast, yes. So they had like these little snacks. They had little gingerbread man cookies. Um, they had the Shrek cake pops that were like green chocolate. They had a Shrek cootery board yes. and uh, had like, and they had, oh, they had um, chicken tenders on green waffles. Those were It was good. delish. Yes. So a lot of, yeah. Oh, there they are. Uh, okay. I've lost my pictures. Sorry, one <laughs> sec. Just gonna quickly scroll ish through ish here. Da, da, da. Where did we go? And we're back. Yes. Um, yeah, so they had they were they were actually really good. Like the chicken tenders were nice and warm. The the waffles were a little bit cold and so they obviously made yeah. them time, but and they put like again, um, what do they put on top? Like uh, sweet and sour sauce? Like a honey or something. Or yeah, something. It was really good, the sauce. I was like, beautiful. These were our free drinks. We got rum and coke. They were very strong and it was very like a spice strong. Rum. I'm like, okay. I was having a drink in a long time. Sophia did not. Oh, yeah. So here's the cast. Um, I can't remember who everybody is. But so I will uh, just like to say my favorite was the donkey. He stole the show. And obviously, he I feel like the donkey the also kids. stole the show in the movies. Yes. I feel like, because it was Eddie Murphy who was obviously yeah. the voiceover for that. Obviously, I love Fiona and the org, but I don't know. The donkey was my favorite. Yes. So he was hilarious. Super lovely. She was in the play as well. So we just started like, we're just going to take selfies with everyone. Yes. This one, I think he was the... Um, the prince's uh, Lord Farquaad's like head. Uh, yeah, I thought um, he was like the guard or something. Guard, but then he yeah. also turned. He had spark. It was very cute. Um, it was very cute. Yes. So we have that. These were a couple of the other guys that were just uh, random characters. I don't know. He, they had the blue Fiona. wristbands on, so that's when you well, know that they're see, the that's cast. The problem. The problem is, is that they are wearing makeup and creature costumes, so you don't actually know what they look like. Uh, so that's why they had the blue wristbands, so we could tell this was Fiona. Yes. Um, according to the guy who played Shrek, this was apparently only her third show playing Fiona. Yeah, she did a good so, job. Good. And he said that like half the cast had just flown in that day. That was Lord Farquaad. Uh, there's some more of the cast. She was the dragon. She was. Really she was good. a really good dragon. Yeah, it was good. So, uh, yeah, no, it was fun. This I can't remember who she was. There's. I think she's the one that was singing while the puppet she was singing for the oh puppet. yes yeah. for Gingy. yeah and i think that he said that was her first show as Gingy, and she had just yes. flown in that day so yeah so it was pretty cool and then this is the guy who played shrek uh he was yeah, really he good was they did a really good job so uh they have a couple more tours and stuff so that's what they're doing so that was that so that is what we did this week um yeah that was a fun time what a great memory speaking yes. of memories speaking of memories, memories Segway. This is what our uh, podcast episode is going to be about today. Um, we're going to take a stroll down memory lane. Chinzia, do you remember what we did in 2011? All the boy band things. All the boy band things. So on Facebook, Facebook memories come up every day that you've done something from years prior. Yes. So we had a lot of fun in 2011. It was a uh, boy band, a palooza, basically. Basically, mostly just Backstreet Boys. Mostly but, just Backstreet Boys, but, but still. yes, but it was it was a very intense year of things, yes. memories. So some things happened around this time last year, um, yes. not last year in twenty eleven. So thirteen years ago. Thirteen years uh, ago. Wow. Time has flown, flown by. Time has flown. So then we're just going to talk also, about. Also, yes, we also um, our first time meeting the Backstreet Boys was also back in then, but obviously not twenty eleven, but twenty two thousand eight, I believe. And yes, right, because it was 16 years ago. 16 years ago. So, so 2008. 
That's right. Oh, I forgot. I should show our Twitter for that. So it was like, wow, we've done so many fun things. So yeah, this is what we'll be talking about. Boys would come quite often to Canada yeah. in this time period, but I'm just going to quickly. Nick and Howie would always come in 2011. Yes. To the point where we were like so close and Howie knowing who we were. We're like, Howie knows who we are almost. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, sorry. So let me just scroll back because we had posted this as I hiccup. Okay. No. Okay. So, yes. So, August 7th, 16 years ago. Yes. So that would have been, I, whatever, 2008, I think you said. 2008. Yeah. Yes. So, that's when we met the, so we all met the Backstreet Boys for the first time. Yes. On the same day. So, yep. Sophia and I had not known each other yet at that point. Which is so funny that like a few people that we became like close with or like uh, we see everyone in the events basically were there that day. Or at this event. So yes. um, let me see if I can share. So um, we've had, we had both different experiences we to did. the point where I enjoyed it so much that I bought another VIP for the following uh, Hamilton show that they did in November because at that time the unbreakable tour was also the never ending tour that the dna tour is has become as well yes so uh yeah so this was at the molson amphitheater which was called molson amphitheater back then i think now yes. it's budweiser state in toronto and um, sorry can i just say one thing yeah. so um this one was they had barricade so they were behind the barricade and then we would just be in front of the barricade while standing with the Backstreet boys but um three or four pictures in nick was like oh my back hurts and they decided to go in front of the barricade so if you see like the first four pictures of people previous they were like what how come you got no barricade i was like i don't know nick said his back was hurting him i don't know yeah, exactly so the guys came out so this picture has always cracked me up because what i am doing if you're not watching this is i have my i'm trying to be cool and put my thumbs in my pockets and just kind of be a casual arm stance here however by the way that where my hands are positioned it literally looks like i'm grabbing nick and howie's private areas and they're smiling but then aj is covering himself <laughs> to protect from the grab which again we're not actually touching but it just looks that way and, and then, this one was like the cheapest uh price point for vip because at oh this God. time they just had one price for it Two so it was like 280 uh with conversion i think it came out to like 312 or something like that yeah it is dread and you got a sound check with this and people got to ask a few questions and now like the yes more recent and questions. you got they were signing stuff yes. as well so that's why the, uh, brian is holding your yeah, so brian is holding my picture that i yes when i was on the front page of the toronto star for seeing the Backstreet boys and much music uh why is it so dark in here anyway so he's um holding that and signing it so they could sign things too so it was yeah. like but literally the VIP package okay. had so many things back in the day. However, security were being jerks to me and yelling and I did not have a good time with that. And the Backstreet Boys were late as per usual. Backstreet and time. Was, and at the other things, they had maybe 30 or 40 VIPs. This Because this was Toronto, there was what, 200? 200, yeah. So they were late coming and there was 200 people they had to get through the line quickly. So it was, and before the concert started, so... And this was the of, first time they were doing these. So like, I guess it was like a work in progress of like how to get everyone to go quickly. Cause they took off the signing after like the second round that they did after Hamilton. They're like, yeah, we're not doing signings anymore. It is what it is. So that and was, then they just, and then they just had the sound check and then the, um, you could request a couple songs and they would sing it for you. Yeah, that's true. So that's that. So we had that. And then, um, Lydia, like i said my this experience look at her was and totally then, different it, oh sorry look how like fun and how he yeah. like, how fun nick is but okay i'm gonna just scroll quickly so take a look pay attention to brian now pay attention to brian in my picture does he not look like a cardboard cutout who has not moved <laughs> this exact same position a little that bit is. he just now has oh, instead gosh. of a big uh 
black. He has like a CD booklet. Smaller thing to be signing, yes. Yes. Uh, and then here is Sophia's. Why is it so far back? I don't know. But yes, there's Sophia's carrying a bunch of stuff. And so oh, um, at that impressive. time, because it was my first time meeting them, uh, I would buy them things to say thank you so much for the music, like and my show my appreciation. So I would I would give them gifts. By the oh, second nice time in Hamilton. Um, I, I think they gave them one more gift. And then by that time, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not giving them any more gifts. They already know my appreciation because I already spent exactly. money on VIP. Yep, for sure. Um, so that's why they're holding, holding, that's why Brian's holding things. Yes. Um, yeah, but yeah, I had a really good time. Um, I had got a lot of eye contact during this sound check. Um, and then I was able to move Brian around, as you can see in the oh, other yes, two photos. He's there Brian yeah. was at the end, and how he was where Brian is. You were so demanding in. I I'm like I'm sorry I'm like what because I was like what if this is my only time meeting the Baxter Boys I'm gonna get my money's worth. Yeah, fair enough. You gotta get what you want. <laughs> be vocal. And then um, Marcus, who used to be the old bodyguard, the one of the OGs. Um, <laughs> yelled behind me and was like this is the only person that can move the boys so i was one and done um so this is why so i was able must to have do been it behind me then because sorry me, you must have been further back in the line because then me because brian was on the end for our picture so yeah so maybe i don't know interesting i was in the beginning i was in the beginning of the line yeah, I just know that it was my first time meeting them and the security were yelling and being complete asshats. And I was just like, OK, and then it was just like it was more distracting. And then they're like, you have to leave. And I'm like, he's still signing my thing. And he's like, you'll get it. I'm like, when will I get it? You're telling me to leave the line. And he's like, rah, 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 rah. like it was just it was just it was not a fun experience. And then I remember complaining on the fan club and being like, they're pay, paying two hundred and fifty dollars. And they made all the blah, 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 blah. like I just. I was not, I did not buy VIP for a little bit after this one. But so, like I said, you could have lovely. different experiences. <laughs> and the picture, they are like, oh, and they were talking to me about the picture. And then the screen, turn around, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, they're literally talking to me right now about what we're doing. So I was like, I don't know. But obviously I got over it and met them many, many more times yeah. over the years. So. so I feel like because it was the first one, they were like, they didn't know what to do. They're yelling. Like, I'm like, you need to calm down. Like, yeah. it's okay. But I didn't, I, didn't, I don't know. They seemed you nice in the beginning. No, so maybe because I was in the fun. beginning, that's why. And then yeah. as the line went through, more people were crazier maybe. And then they're like, let's get it on. And then they don't have enough time because they got to go on stage to do the show. So I don't know. You're the ones who fucking came late. So, you know. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Damn but that I think that may be the contributing factor. Yeah, probably. But yes. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so that was that. And then... I'm gonna and yes, obviously, after those times, we met them a whole bunch of times as well. Yes. Um, while we're still in the Twitter area, I'm just going to point out that two years ago, we were in Xenia, Ohio, and we did Kalamazoo, Michigan. So there yeah. is a bunch of boy bands. So we got O-Town, LFO, Jeff Timmons from 98 Degrees, uh, obviously Chris Kirkpatrick from NSYNC. Uh, obviously. This, oh, my God. I totally forgot to say it. Oh my God. I went to, I went to Billy Gilman. I yes. went to Mexico with him. I should know his name. So Billy Gilman, David Cook. I do not recall this gentleman's name, but yes. So that was um, in Ohio, which they had a contest, right? You want a contest? I want a contest. Yeah. So we had gone um, because yeah, because they were the Kalamazoo, Michigan show was, uh, them performing at a rib fest and it was $20 and whatever. And this one was still fairly cheap as well. It's to go see OT. It was like pop 2000. Um, the yeah. Kalamazoo show had sugar Ray, I believe. Yes. And I, don't think, yes. He, he, the, the front man, Mark, uh, Mark, Mark McGrath from sugar. Yeah, Ray. Mark McGrath. That's Yes, so that was that. So that was two years ago. And then also 13 years ago. So this is this is the era we're going to talk about shortly, but I'll just show the pictures now since we're still on Twitter. Um, we were, it was part of NKOTBSB. And this yeah. was the very last show in London. And we were hanging out by the buses before the show and Joey McIntyre came by. So again, I think we still had digital cameras at this point. We had so those cameras, yeah. 
Um, but it was so fast that we had to get in and it was near the beginning of our boy band time. So we were not pros at getting selfies at this time. Yes. So I and I feel picture. like, I think my Zoom was the in for some reason. Zoom, yes. I don't know why. Zoom. I don't know what, what happened. Um, but then I thought I did a good job. And then at the last second, Chinzia's eyes were closed. But I didn't notice until after the pick was done. And he was just quickly. And, like, and then he just it's left. It's not like we had been there for hours. We literally just showed up. Yeah. There like a few minutes. And then Joey McIntyre comes out and starts taking pictures. Like, oh, shit. Go take pictures, right? Yeah. So I ended up cutting off Sophia's face. So it's just kind of like above the lip and up. Uh, but at least their eyes are open and then there's mine with my eyes closed and I just look like a nutcase so yeah so uh so that's from this time period but so, we have pictures from that day it's a, a nice story to tell because I think that tour we got from mostly everyone no I think you got more because you went to more shows oh true that was the Ottawa one. oh let's tell that yes. story that part was funny too yes okay um so, oh and that um, one uh um Johnny like came around and like slapped everyone's hand yes it was raining yeah. he came out with yeah. an umbrella and he's like I can't take photos I gotta go but I will slap everyone's hand or give you high fives oh, or whatever sounds good um okay. we'll take it I was like okay and then our love for Donnie became a lot lots of Donnie's fun there Donnie's I don't know. <laughs> we love um, Donnie after that have we talked about NKOTBSB on the podcast like, have we done I the album? I feel like we just like mentioned like, oh, we went to these tours, NKOTBSB, we went to these many shows, that kind of thing. But I don't think we talked about like, like the okay. album review. I don't think we did or. We've done that either. That's a good I don't Anyways, remember. Well, we'll just do a little quick overview about NKOTBSB to our lovely friends at Wikipedia. I don't know yeah. why I call them friends, but you know. Anyways. Um, okay. So NKOTBSB was an American pop super group consisting of members of American boy bands, New Kids on the Block, and the Backstreet Boys. Howie of the Backstreet Boys came up with the name, which is a combination of, obviously, NKOTB and BSB. Uh, together, they released one compilation album uh, called NKOTBSB, uh, and it had a single, Don't Turn Out the Lights. They toured Which is North very America. catchy. Yes, that was a great song. Uh, North America, Europe, Australia, and Asia in 2011 and 2012. So how this Oh, there started. was also a second song called All in My Head. Yes. The boys, the BSB uh, sang it first. Okay. And then they redid it with NKOT BSB. Oh. And they okay. put it on that compilation. So that's why there's the like two songs. Is that every time I listen to the album, I'd be like, oh, this is Backstreet Boys. This is New Kids. And then I would get to that song. I'm like, I don't know who this is. And they're like, it's the compilation one. I'm like, oh, right. And then I would forget it every single time. So... <laughs> Uh, so it says in summer of 2010 Backstreet Boys joined New Kids on the Block on stage at Radio City Music Hall in New York and performed I Want It That Way the show was part of New Kids on the Block casino tour so that's when they went to all the casinos right so I did that yes oh yes I remember now the Backstreet Boys were a special guest in LA and it was a secret it says they were in New York I don't know okay I thought it was LA maybe it was New York sorry so okay uh, maybe New York Okay, so since the performance, the media began circulating rumors of the two reuniting uh, for a tour in the summer of 2011. Okay, then it was New York. I thought it was LA. 2010, Brian, a member of the Backstreet Boys, gave the tour a 78% chance of happening. What a random number. Okay. He also stated that he and Donnie Wahlberg from New Kids on the Block had been working on some songs together. The tour was officially announced to begin the summer of 2011 on the Ryan Seacrest show on November 8th, 2010. During the interview, it was mentioned that the groups were recording a single to be released later to promote the tour. They also did a live Q&A on the same day. Uh, the newly formed supergroup first performed together at the closing of the 38th annual American Music Awards, November 21st, 2010, to give the public a taste of what they would see on tour. And again, on the 2011 Dick Clark New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest. That was a good uh, That was a good performance. performance. Sure. On March 14th, 2011, the group announced they'd be releasing a joint album in May, the uh, five tracks from each group and two recorded with the supergroup. Uh, Don't Turn Out the Lights came out on April 5th. Uh, and then it started in Rosemont, Illinois, May 25th, 2011. 
And, then- and th- at this time, um, you would put like if you pre-ordered it right away, you would get na- your name in the booklet. Yes, but then too many people pre-ordered it, so instead of a booklet, they gave us a poster. Yes, with our names on it. And then the that. posters like everyone's name, and you're like, holy crap, how many people? Like, so you had to like um, skim the poster just to like. And I believe it was your name. My first name. I think that's how. They yes, did it. Yeah, and so. I found. I was able to find my name, and I, I was like, my yes, name. Awesome. I put a heart around it. I had it up at work for the longest yes. time. Yes, because they're like, sorry, too many people pre-ordered. We don't have, we can't put it in a booklet. You're getting a poster. All right. We'll take it, right? As the Better yes. than nothing. So um, it, it hasn't mentioned it, but basically it was the five members of New Kids on the Block and four members of the Backstreet Boys because Kevin was currently on a hiatus during this time. So yes. it says that the tour ended uh, June 3rd, 2012 in the Philippines and then they performed one last time, August 18th, 2012, in Hershey, Pennsylvania at the Summer Mixtape Festival. Yes, we talked about the Mixtape yes. Festival in the last podcast the last episode. episode. Which we did not go to. Uh, yeah. The performance was also the only North American tour during a show in London. called, And they did live stream this one. Yes. On April 29, 2012, they announced original member Kevin Richardson's return to the Backstreet Boys. And literal hinted that they might play some shows with all 10 members in the future. That was a lot. They did not do that. So that's why he just said maybe yes. trying to get the hopes up, but it did not happen. In I August think even of- now people are like, oh, they should try to get back together so everyone can be 10. Yes. Uh, that's so true. In August of 2012, members of New Kids on the Block also stated during Mixtape Festival that while it was their last performance together for quite some time, they might get back together down the line and they hope there'll be many more shows with Backstreet Boys in the future. That um, was not meant to be. The lie detector sermon, this was a lie, but yes, no, that, it was a really, it was a really good show. I just want to say like, at that time, obviously I love the Backstreet Boys. And I didn't want to share any like spotlight or like tickets or anything with new kids on the block, which is a fair assessment, I think, because you just and love some new kids fans felt the same way as right? well. They didn't want. And then I met but... a lot of new kids on the block fans who were very nice. Um, at one point, I think the album. I think you can only like pre-order it in the U.S. and not in Canada yet. Something there was like some glitch. Okay. That you or maybe it was like maybe the, in the US they had like two more bonus tracks I or they something. Had they had something that was different. So um I met a new kids on the block fan from Buffalo and then in the Toronto show uh she saw me and she's like, Oh, um, here's the album that I got for you from Target. Aww. I think Target had like something. Yeah, something there's always different. like usually Target has an extra like bonus track. Or something, or yeah. Like that. So I was to like paid her the money and then she was able to get it for me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And then new kids on the block fans were like very nice. So then when I went online and they're like, people were like, new kids on the block fans are crazier than the BSB fans. So I was like, I never dealt with any of them. So I don't know, but yeah. So, um, yeah. And then, you know, I went to like eight shows, um, by the, by the end of the tour, I was like, I love this tour. This was, yes, such a great it was tour. very entertaining because at the beginning of the tour, Sophia was just like sitting down anytime new kids on the block came on. So I love the fast songs of new kids on the block. I did not really enjoy the slow songs. I apologize. Um, it was just not for me, those songs. I also think like Joey McIntyre went like a little too long on his leg. Please don't go. Please don't go. I think we at one point we uh timed it to see and I think it was like two minutes over two minutes long. It was very long, yes. Very and then I think also uh Jor- Jordan Knight also had like a long note and we're like, Can you finish the song? The next song. <laughs> yes. But by the end of the, the last show of the tour, I I stood for the whole show for the slow songs. Obviously I danced with the to the upbeat songs because you know they had some really good songs so yes by the end of the tour i loved new kids on the block as well 
So there you go. But there was definitely a lot of controversy at the beginning when they first announced it that fans from both groups did not want this to happen. Yeah. I was like, the more boy bands, the better. And this is great. And then there was definitely lots of fans who were like, I'm not buying a ticket, blah, blah, blah. And we're like, okay, great. We can get better tickets. And then afterwards, they all showed up at the show anyway. So I feel like everyone became a fan of each other. And then now everyone likes everyone, right? Like, yeah. I remember like Howie had like so many fans from New Kids on the Block. Like, yeah. that fandom loved Howie. I don't know if it was because, like, he hardly gets any love, but I was like, way to go, Howie. I am proud of you. Good old Howie, though. Right? Life. So, yeah. So, all in all, I really enjoyed the concert, the tour. I went to eight shows, obviously. Um, at that time, they had VIP packages. That time, they had, like, the tiers. So, you could do... Yeah. I think, well, I, do they still have the tiers? Yeah, I think there were still the tiers. Um, but the platinum, they went to platinum, a platinum package. So then you could do sound check, um, get your questions asked and answered Q and A. Then they did a backstage tour with one of the boys, a BSB. That's fun. Yeah. And then, um, they had separate VIP packages, one for new kids and one for Backstreet Boys. Yes. Okay. So we will go through some of that stuff as we go. Sorry. Through I just, yeah. No, that's great. That's good. Sorry, I'm just going to check if I can make this a little bit brighter. Did that make a difference at all? No, it didn't. No. Nope. All right, doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so I found the, the tour list. So it started, as we mentioned, May 25th, 2011 in um, Rosemont, Rosemont, Illinois. Uh, then Grand Rapids, Michigan. So the first show that we I went to was May 28th in Buffalo. So that was actually Olivia's birthday. Uh, and we were taking off to go to New York for, I can't remember what birthday this would have been, 29 maybe? I can't do math. Anyways, we were going for Olivia's birthday and we're like, hey, let's stop at the New Kids concert. I'll buy you a ticket. But then I ended up winning a meet and greet for the Backstreet Boys. And she at did the fan not, club. Through the fan club. Yeah. So I was like, okay, well, sorry, it's your birthday. I'm going to go see the Backstreet Boys. She was more of a New Kids fan anyways. Um, but I'm trying to see if I, where did I put that album? Uno momento, por favor. I think my picture is in there. Oh, nope, that's the wrong place. And obviously, like, VIP, if you've never been to a VIP, um, they're very enjoyable they're lots of fun yes. um sure. the picture uh, is quick okay here we go may 28th but that's why i was like if you're paying all this money it's good that they're still doing a sound check now they don't really do that but at the time it was very exciting yes all right so i will quickly go through here's mine so this is from the buffalo show i don't apparently i can't change cars this is olivia looking sitting outside the venue by herself while i went in these are really shitty pictures yep oh sometimes God. the lighting in the venue is not good yes this is a bad this is so awesome. i guess like the camera uh, okay. like shit the three, bed you will say so there's a whole bunch of them look we still had digital cameras back then that was yes. the thing. aj was bald for some reason forgot about that he changes his look a lot, I feel like, during all the tours. Even in the Breakable Tour, he had, like, a huge um, beard. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I forgot about that, yes. And then we were, like, making fun of him a little bit. So at one point, we called him Macho Man. Macho, Macho Man. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I had a lot of blurry pictures, guys, as we speed through this. But at least they're, like, semi-decent pictures. Ish. yeah like you could kind of tell who's who kind of yeah compared to my in-sync pictures from back in the day when they were like minuscule right i can't have a backstreet boy show without them wearing white outfits yes i thought my vip picture was here and i do want to say like um in the beginning of the tour i feel like um it was just going to be like the Backstreet Boys were going to open up for new kids on the block but then donnie Wahlberg was like no we're equals in the boy band world so it's going to be like back and forth so e so that yeah, even I more like, like yes donnie Wahlberg, i love you thank you so much he knows the backstreet like boys are also legends together. 
Yeah, so they came out together doing that Vita Vita, whatever the fuck. Yes. Not remember the name of the Viva La Vida. Yes, from, from Coldplay. Coldplay. It, it was a very good opening. I really liked it. Um they opened up with a bang. Yeah, so it started off good. You're like, okay, so you're not like doing specifically any um yeah. one band, and then it would just like they would do like two or three songs and go back and forth and then do a couple where they would like N K O T S P. So you're like, yeah. yeah, that was a fun tour. Um, it was exciting. Sorry, I was just trying to find that one picture that I cannot find. Okay, not a big deal. But basically, what? Oh, maybe it's in here. Uh, 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 did I put it here? No, I did not. Uh, but yeah, basically for this one, you took pictures with groups of people. The boys yeah, were standing you behind on the, the block, barricade. right? Yeah, so there was like five, four or five of us in the picture and they were behind a barricade. So then we had to like stand in front of them. So I have no idea who else is in my picture, which I cannot find at this moment. Um, but yeah, so that was how it worked for that VIP. But that VIP was just like a quick sound check. You said that you had a backstage a... tour. Was that during this one? Sorry? The backstage tour, was that during this one? Yeah. Okay, so then I just got like the cheaper. They gave me like the the basic. So they had the tiers. So they had bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. So I think we might have had silver. I don't. So you could ask questions. What's funny, and I, Sophia will probably bring this up as well, is that when I went to the Buffalo show, actually that was the first time I ran into our friend Nikki, um, who was the only other Canadian there. But we were standing up for the VIP, and everybody else was sitting down, and it was like so awkward. Like. I suppose we could have just sat down, but we were like on the edge. So we're like, no, let's get pictures and stuff. So yeah. Like when I went to Vegas VIP, um, the first instinct when they come out is to stand up and like, you know, here, have a good time. But I turned around and everyone's sitting. I'm like, okay, I guess in the U S they don't stand, but in Canada, we're like standing. This, yes. All right. So then I get, I just had to sit because um, where I was, I was in the aisle. So hmm. I would be in front of people. So then they would be like, probably tell me to sit down. The aisle is a good place to be. Okay. So next. Oh, up, and in the Vegas that. VIP, I, I think because I only like traveled to, from Toronto. I went to Toronto, Montreal. So it was the first time I ever went out of like the country, I think. I want to say no. It was like the second time I went out of the country because I went to, um, to the Healthy Heart Club event. Um, and then when Brian saw me, he was like surprised that I was there. Because he it was like, what? What are you doing here? Because usually I'm in Toronto, Montreal, right. Ottawa, that kind of thing. Nice. So, so he recognized you. So he Toronto. recognized me in 2011. Okay, I found, so the next shows that look like came up on the list were the Toronto ones, which were the 8th and the 9th. Yeah. So we originally only had tickets for the 8th, but then we liked it so much that in the morning of the 9th, we bought additional tickets. Yeah. Yes, and we were like near like the aisle where they came through. So like we were second row of that aisle. So like when Howie came through, he like shook our hands. I just saw a couple of our yeah. signs. I'll show you. We used to make signs quite a I bit. I think he also hugged you. He did, yes. I think I got a did I get a kiss on the cheek? I can't remember. I definitely got a hug. You um, got a hug and then I got a high five. You from AJ, right? Or was it from Howie too? From Howie. So here's some random throw us your Wiley hankies because uh Brian's yes. wife Leanne was very into the Wiley at the time. So yes. she would give they would have like um hankies that they would throw out to the crowd. Uh um, usually during the tours before the show would start, they would do Wiley parties. And uh, you could uh, pre-order and pick it up at the venue. I like the merchants. And then uh, as time then went on, they did, um, they had a Wiley party bus. And then they had the clothes in a party bus. Uh, I think that was on the in the world like this tour. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, because we were in Boston when we went on that one. So, yeah. so pick us, don't break our heart. Oh, yes, because they also pulled said, Oh, uh, the sign says pick us because at the time uh, they brought... Uh, girls up on stage to give them roses and serenade them as the i believe in the first couple of shows they just brought one girl but then they're like there's four of us so let's have more girls yes so each boy had a girl it was and i that was that was just 
for Backstreet, right? I don't think you can. Yes, you- it was just for Backstreet because they um saying, I'll never break your heart. Yes. So we obviously were not picked, but I feel like our friend Nikki was picked. Nikki was picked. How we pick Nikki. Yes. Yes. Don't break our heart. This is how we do it. How we? How we? Yes. Because we were like, um, we saw like the girls weren't like very into it being with Howie. So we were like, we all made a plan. Like if we get chosen to be with Howie, be enthusiastic. Basically, you needed to be on the shaft to get it. Like we yeah. were like too far. We were on the row. Well, hug us. We're huggable. I don't know. It just we're, we just we made random signs. It was fun at the time. Hashtag just saying, please don't go, Joe. Make my night, John. Yeah, John Knight. And- See, yeah, yeah. Nikki, there's the point. And then this is where we met like Lee, Howie's wife, and AJ's oh, yeah. mom. I forgot about that. Denise, yeah. Did you hear before the concert or after? Let me see if I can. Uh, while we're waiting for the show to start. Okay, I don't see. I'm just going to casually scroll through these to see if I can find anything. Ooh, look how close Nick was. Beautiful. Yes. Unless that's and then they would go the through the crowd. Um, Brian would go through the crowd. And I want to say AJ would also go through the crowd. Yeah, here's Howie going through the crowd. Or Howie, sorry. Yeah, no, they would come in from different sides. Yes. Walk through, yeah. Because in this tour, um, they would pair up the Backstreet Boys mm-hmm. and you could done the block. So because, oh, oh there they are. Because... So um, this, this, it was only it was five new kids and four. Um, Nick got both Knight brothers. Nick, Nick got both Knight brothers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, this is how his wife Lee, and this is AJ's mom Denise. So we got pictures with her. And then I don't know what this is a picture of. Some security guard, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that is so that was the Toronto shows, and then next up, I believe it was Sophia going to. Oh, did you but, do the Montreal show before? So the I believe show? I went to Montreal as well. Yeah. With some other friends that I met through the fan club. And they were like, hey, let's go. Because it was only like six hours away, I believe. Yeah. Montreal By car. Because you took a bus. And then I was like, why not, right? Um, yes, because I went to Montreal. And then I did um, the backstage uh, tour. Yes. Um, we tried to like calculate like which boy would do it because you kind of, they went in um they went in a, a row. So I thought I was gonna get Brian in Montreal. Oh, sorry. I no no no. First, I was I went to Vegas. I, I thought I was gonna get Brian in like Vegas. A, there's an NKO TBSB part two, but I don't see a part one. And oh. then I also see your Vegas one. Okay, yeah, you can just put up Vegas. You want to do Vegas VIP? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, here is oh, okay, here we go. Oh, that's a cute picture. Yeah. So, so um cute. because I didn't get Brian in Montreal, I bought the backstage VIP uh to get Brian in Vegas. Look at that, and he's hugging you. So this one is uh in Vegas. Um obviously Brian remembers me, so I was like, Yes, Brian. So he put his arm around me and this was a cute photo. Here, look how dressed up you are. So yeah. Um, at that oh, time, so I was like, let me wear some fun. Place. I bought dresses. I was like, let me wear some fun outfits for these VIPs. Um, as you can see, really uh, Howie and I have, or I have, Howie's chapstick. Oh yes, the chapsticks. Yes. yes. Um, from his uh, t- album. One hundred kisses. One hundred kisses. Yes. Um, his street team was loving the chapstick. I think I had like a whole bag at one point. Um, and then I was like, Howie, let's do a blowing of kisses. So this is what it came up with. Very cute. Howie's um, hilarious. Is this how? And then this is the backstage tour. Wow, it's pretty mm-hmm. Howie showed us like uh, what the backstage entails. Where do you go? That's what fine. happens? You know, the, like, like the cost, like the, the dressing area. And yeah. The, um, the technical side of things. I was like, sure. Like, oh, just yes. Talking, I asked him a question. I think I have a picture of it where like I'm looking at him and he's looking at me. Possibly. Yes. There oh, I am. Yeah. Do you see me? Yes. Him and yeah. I are like chatting right now. We're having a moment here. Yes, yes. we are. 
So I was like, Brian is crazy for jumping from the stage to like the other part of the stage. Oh I'm like, yeah, Why? I forgot about that. Cause yeah, like, yeah, I was like, how does he not kill himself jumping? Yeah. Like, right. And he's like, that's Brian. He's so competitive. He likes to do this. And I'm like, I know this, but like, I don't want him to fall and hurt himself. So we were like having a moment about it. It was very funny. That's cute. Fun. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Backstage. Yes. Yeah, so uh, the other, sorry, the other picture that you saw, like my hand, like do that. That's basically me showing uh, Brian jumping from one stage to the other. You have the claw here. Yeah. Here, like. That was Brian. Like, yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. funny. That's cute. Yeah. All right. So you did Vegas. So and then um, I did Vegas. Where Vegas is. Vegas was July 3rd. So you said it was like yes, July. Um, it was the Canada Day slash Independence Day long weekend. So I was like, this is perfect. I don't have to take time off. Excellent. And then what came up next after Vegas? Edmonton, Calgary, Tulsa. Oh, and then Ottawa on August 4th. You went to that one, correct? Yes, I went. So to you had gone with your, your Ottawa girls, I think? Uh, I went with my Ottawa girls, uh, Matata girls, yes. Matata, that was the word, yes. yes. And, and no worries for the rest of your days. That's true. And then you guys ran into New Kids on the Block while you were there, correct? Okay. Would you like to tell this story, Sophia? I think so I think at this point, I just liked four of the five New Kids on the Block. Um, I'm sorry. I love New Kids on the Block. I swear. Obviously, I love them now, but I'm just saying. Um, I guess Danny... Danny Wood was like my least favorite or maybe I just didn't want a picture with him. I don't know what my uh, reasoning was back in the day. So I, be I believe the story was you guys were hanging out at the venue. So uh, we went to the hotel where they were okay. staying at. Um, and because Brian's bus was across the street from the hotel. Okay. So then we got a picture um, before the sound check. Oh, do you I have think that? so. Or maybe that was a different one. Anyway, no, I don't. Th no, I don't think he was there that time. I think that was a different tour. Sorry. So yeah, we were at the hotel. I think we we're just like waiting to see if they would come out. Right. Um, and then one of my friends, Tracy, got a picture with Danny Wood because he loves them. Um, Jen and Kat were like, oh, "Yes, on, I don't on. like Danny Wood either, so I won't get a photo." So I was like, okay, I'm not going to be like the bad person and not get a photo, not be the only one. There's other two girls. Then when they took a photo, he's like, do you want a photo too? And then they're like, yes. I'm like, what the? They said they weren't going to take it, but then he they said they weren't going to take it. And then they took one anyways. So then he asked me too. And I was like, um, it's okay. No, uh, no offense. It's okay. I don't need a photo. And he's like, then take it. I'm like, okay, great. Instead of just taking the picture, like, no, no, I'm good. Thanks, buddy. Like, yeah, uh, okay, I, don't know. I don't know what it was. Maybe because I didn't like him at the time. I don't know. Anyways, um, this looks like something. My apology. <laughs> looks like you guys met Donnie. Yes, I did meet Donnie in Ottawa. Okay. So I was on the you phone with Chingzi at this time. <laughs> Look at this. Yes. So there was, so he kept looking at other cameras and I was like, my camera is here. So instead of my friend, like waiting for my hand to go down, she just took the photo. <laughs> she just took, I'm looking at you. Oh my God. So hilarious. it's like paparazzi basically. Too funny. Yeah. So I was on the phone right. with Chindi at this time uh, and we were waiting by the buses. Like yeah. um, Ottawa has the buses on the, the ground area, the garage yeah. area. And we were up top with a fence so you can look down is this howie you look, yes that's howie you can look down and then uh donnie oh. Wahlberg came out with a bus and i was like chinzy i gotta go i'm gonna go get a picture with uh, donnie because at first i was like oh i'm not gonna go i think there's... she was literally telling me the story about how she denied danny wood a picture yes donnie's here i, I gotta it. go and then i hung up and okay. then i was like i gotta go i think i'm gonna be able to get a picture with donnie because i thought he would just like quickly say hi and go back on a little bit of a bike so it looked like right so then i was like okay he's just gonna like say hi and then go back and then I saw that he was waiting like five minutes there. I'm like, okay, this is my chance. If I don't go, I'm not going to go. So then I like hung up with Chinzia, ran there, and I was able to make it. And I got a photo. The pointing photo. Is this oh, yeah. Nick? Yeah, it's like Nick and Mike. That's cute. It's but, friends. And then my love for Donnie, obviously, was like, yes, I love Donnie Wahlberg. So he's my favorite from New Kids on the Block. Excellent. He's just lovely. He's a lovely man. He is guy. a lovely man, yes. Let me see if I can. And, da and Danny Wood is very nice as well. 
These are good pictures. You had good seats. Yes, we would got good seats. Wow. And I think even Brian like saw me there as well, and he like yeah, I don't know. I like see like movie. Brian likes to like choose people in the crowd, and he like tunnel vision to them to give eye contact. It's great. Why is Jordan holding up a Nick poster? Oh, shoot. Okay, we'll finish the NKOTB SB and then we'll get to the other part. Okay, so so that was Ottawa. So you did Ottawa. I'm going to, what am I doing here? I'm going to stop sharing for a second. So that was Ottawa. Ottawa. So Ottawa went to Montreal. So that was August 5th. So you went to that one too, right? Yes. I think I just did, I think I did August fifth, not the you other did one. All together, yeah, yeah. So I think did I did the Ottawa, other one. Yeah. You did Montreal, Montreal and then I did Hamilton. So Hamilton, August. London, yeah. And then we did London. So let's. See so in Hamilton, we waited by the buses, um, and then yeah. we saw AJ there because they had like a little uh, back way that they go to in Hamilton for the Cops Coliseum. Because at that time, it's Cops Coliseum, right? Right. Yes, it's Cops yes. Coliseum. Um, so they had like a back door to go into the venue and then they parked the buses uh, on the side of the venue on the other side, right? Yes. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm of the entrance system. way, the back. Um, so we saw AJ go by. He said hi. We saw Brian. Um, I think he was like signing oh, autographs at that time. Nice. He signed a little. He said hi to us. Uh, yes, because uh, him and um, I asked Brian how was golf because at that time he was golfing as well. Oh, found another we saw, like a video of like, him golfing picture. with his friends. Yes, that's my picture one. with him. And then uh, Howie came out of the buses and then yes, we're like, hi, Howie. Nobody noticed it was Howie, first of all. Yeah, so first, first we saw, it. first, no, this is the, this is at the end. Oh, okay. So first we saw yeah. Howie and then I got a photo of Howie like mid winking. So when you see the photo, it's like so funny. Like his, he's winking and he's like, "Hey, okay, maybe it was great." Different. I don't think it's in there, but do you think it was in? It's a really good one. I don't think it's there. It's... I took a lot. Last one shows, maybe. It would probably mm. be part of the last shows. Okay, probably the last so... bit. Yeah. Anyways, okay, there's some that, really that, like. It was really funny how he like mid wink. I was like, I'm like, yes, I'm so glad I got that mid wink photo. Um, and then okay, and then so like what you did thing, um, we walked, we were walking behind Howie, mm -hmm. and then two other girls were walking beside Howie, and then nobody knew it was Howie. And I and, and Shinzi are like, there's Howie. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. I was and then as soon as we like got to the bus. Everyone was like, Howie! And then the other girls were like, I didn't even know that that was Howie. It was so funny. It was really funny. Right? It was so funny. I think it's going to be this last album. Sorry. I took a lot of photos, but I didn't like say like, yeah, yeah. it was Hamilton. <laughs> well, you put all four in the last thing together. Yeah. So. I was like, I don't want to do like um, separate. Uh... Oh, yeah. So you're right. That That is when Donnie. So this is from London. So this is when Donnie was in the rain, high fiving everyone. Yes. So that was good. That appears to be Nick. Yep. There's Nick. Yes. He did not come out to us. Um, he just said hi. The funniest part is that we even keep waiting by the buses so that we wouldn't like we keep missing the opening act. So Neverest and yes. um, Matthew Morrison from Glee. He was also yes. there. Oh yes, because so um, this was the people so that we were with were like, up. oh, do you want to go to the opening act? You and I were like, do you just do you want to like wait by the buses? Because we don't care about the opening acts. Because yes, I think we saw the opening good. acts in the other shows. So we're like, we've already seen them. It doesn't matter. We're like, we're good. We're fine. It was yeah. just really funny. So we didn't uh, go see them. But then they also had rest of the oh and then they had we had the after party afterwards too. yes and they had the after party and then ryan uh was howie's street team member and i, I guess like we got really close with him so we took photos Who are these people uh ryan um that's uh howie's street team oh, manager that was the one where we were handing out the, um, the lip giving out stuff. the chapstick yeah and that's why i got like a Plastic. huge bag look at this lovely out yes which of the late 90s early 2000s yes. The classic zebra print with hot pink and black. Yeah. Classic. And then look at I think we're like matching almost. Yeah, that's a cute dress too. Yeah. Cute. Like because I think at that time I was like, let's wear some fun dresses. 
I think now it's not as uh, we don't care as much. Like we care because you want to look good, but we don't care as much because it's not the beginning of of things. (laughs) Yes. So, but at that, that what was fun is that we had like signs. We were about sixth row for the London show, and Mm -hmm. Matt Morrison and all the dancers were near us, and they saw that we had all these signs. So then they took signs and were like holding them up and like. It was pretty funny. And then our that friend funny. Sarah had a thing and then Matt Morrison wouldn't take pictures or whatever, but she held up, a, she, I don't know if she wrote the sign or if she already had I think she sign. wrote the sign. Yeah, I think she wrote it. Because I have, I always carry my Sharpies with me and some yes. blank signs just in case. So she wrote a sign. The bold saying, marker like, of boldness. Yes, the good old bold. So she wrote a sign, sign saying like, I'm a teacher and a science teacher maybe? Is that what he taught? I think in- so. Yeah, I think so. I like you inspired me or something. So then he, so he's like, oh, okay, he's, wait, or like gave a thumbs up or whatever. So then we should put the sign down and we were still watching the show, but then him or one of the dancers came and took the sign and then signed it and gave it mm. back to her. So that was. I uh, remember in Ottawa, we I saw Matt Morrison, but he didn't answer his name to uh, Matt Morrison. He answered to his uh Lee character's name okay. instead and I was like okay at least you answered yeah that's too funny it was funny oh I also have some pictures okay hold on I have pictures from this from London as well so we got some AJ backstage there's John London. Knight and his family this was London so this they live. Like, I'm like, I'm remember he Brian was saying, come back. Yeah, Brian. Yeah. This is his face when he spots Sophia. I think that was what that was. So, uh, then we got some Joey. Because um, John Knight has family, right, in Hamilton. Yeah. So they probably just came over. Me taking a picture of Joey's ass for some reason, I guess. So. <laughs> Why yes, not? It's definitely raining. So yes. AJ's out smoking. Is that cute? You. 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 And then Mike. And then Mike. Mike. Uh, Jen. Is that Jen, Eddie? the manager. Eddie. Eddie and Justin. Oh, yeah. I didn't look at them. Jordan carrying a bunch of CDs for some reason. So, yeah. So. Did he also have an album come out? I, I think, think so. We, didn't we go to Cover Me Canada during this time as well? I believe so. Or oh, maybe with another. Person. Yes. Okay, so here's the guy from Glee. And then... Uh, oh, here's our, our signs for this one. Wiley Hanky. That yes. did not... It reminded him that he had to throw them out because that was another thing. They kept forgetting to throw out the hankies. Yes, and that was they amazing. did. I was like, buddy, this is part of the show. <laughs> and he's like, ah, yes. And then instead of giving it to us, he threw it into the middle of the crowd. We're like, okay, great. Thank you, oh, Brian. You can win them all, right? And then 100 kisses for one serenade. We're trying to get Howie there. Yes. Like, fifth show, please pick me. Crowd Scully, what the hell is that? So when, that um, what, like Skull, uh, AJ loves Skulls. Mm. So when Twitter came out, his handle was Scully. That's right. Yes, I forgot. Yes. La 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 la. Two nights. Two nights. Remember, we love that song or like this part of the song. Yes. And this is the only part of the song that we sang. Yes. And then I feel like it was like an inside like joke or like fun, like anything we would say, we'd be like la 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 tonight. Yes. Yes. Basic John sign, NKO TVSB, how we wink. And uh, he would wink. Like, I find that, like, if you do, like, this is how we do it, or any of, like, how we signs, he would wink. Yes. Uh, here is Joey McIntyre in short shorts. That's right. Yes, because <laughs> he's the cover girl. Cover girl. Yes. Well, uh, he's oh, my cover, he's cover girl. girl. And then at one point, at one of the shows, AJ was the cover girl. Because I think it was the last show. Yes, it was the last show. And they like to do pranks on each other. Yes. So that was really funny. So it was funny. That was a very good tour. So that, yes. uh, so that was NK. Very good BSB. tour. Um, but history yes. making, they made like, I think they made like close to like uh, 75 million or something. I read somewhere. That's crazy. Yes. 
crazy, crazy. Um, oh, yes, it was like uh, 44 out of 50 tours. It was really good. That's amazing. Yeah. Also in 2011, though, do you know what else occurred? Wait, hold we on. We went to the Trist nightclub with you Howie. Have the pictures of Trist? I think you do. I think so. Yeah, I think it's in my album. I think it's in your albums. So oh, we also did. Yes, here it is. I got it. Yes. Um, share this. Da, da, da. So, sorry, in the, is sorry. A in Toronto. Sorry, in the London after party, they were giving out uh, Nick and Howie CDs, yeah, but I I'm guess sorry. like there maybe weren't a lot of Howie CDs, so they just gave yeah. everyone Nick CDs. Nick and we're like, CDs can we get a Howie one? And the guy who was giving them out was like, wouldn't you want a Nick one? And we're like, no, we have so many we, of we've them. We've been to a few of the after parties already. We have lots of Nick albums. Yeah. And then I can't remember, did we end up getting a Howie one? or? The uh, I don't album? think we did, no. Yeah. And the guy's are like, okay. <laughs> um, so Howie ended up coming to Toronto. Uh, it was near my birthday. Yeah. And it trust nightclub i can't remember why was it because he was in town for tiff i think so and something with never gone with um never is maybe yes, yes. never so he was in so there he is it was saturday september 10th uh so then we had gone for my birthday and yeah. i don't know who that lady is but olga oh olga nikki sarah yeah so we were like there and we had our little chapstick and we're waiting in this little barricaded area for a million years because howie does not like to yeah it was like anymore. an hour and a half and i was like oh, um take forever and we're like yeah we need to like go and then people started leaving and then after people, people left started leaving came. before howie showed up yes. yeah so so the, okay. the, the okay. pictures so with Neverest that we Neverest. have are not the same guys in Neverest, uh, the final uh, band no, I feel in, like 2011, in 2011. In 2011? Yeah. yeah, so I think yeah, okay. it was Pete and the other guy, the first picture, those two stayed, but the other two left. And then they got two new guys. Yes, and they're not a band anymore anyways. And then how he no. finally arrived, you know, yeah. red leather jacket performed a couple of his songs i think yeah at one point almost like i think we were like angry right and then oh, we were annoyed i, I think because like push. people were like pushing and i think at one point you almost like uh pushed someone down the stairs something like that yeah, yeah. we were on a little elevated it was not a lot of stairs it was like two it was not stairs, no, it was like two steps whatever she was pushing me so i pushed back not knowing yeah. that she would fall down the stairs but she did. right i was but like we were also they were drunk and was kind of deserved it. I'm sorry. Like, don't be pushing people. Like, what do you expect? Like, you've been standing here for hours and now you're yeah. coming out of nowhere. Ain't nobody <laughs> getting through. We've been here two hours almost already. Basically, yes. So, got some pictures with how he. Yes, I'm talking to him about the chapstick. The and chapstick. he's like, thank you so much. Because we, we were helping chapstick. to give them out. Yeah. Oh, he's so funny. So, yeah. So, that, there you go. And then so we got pictures kinda... together. We got pictures by the, uh, himself. He was having a good time. Having a good time, singing and performing. And and then the nightclub took photos as well. And I think they're on the Trist nightclub. Um, yes, because then we went well. to like, oh, I thought we had the, oh, there's Howie putting on the chapstick as well. See? For kisses. And then there was a backdrop. And then we're like, Howie, come into this backdrop with us. Yes, was, because he was we going up the stairs the to go to the washroom. Yeah. And then he came back, something or something like I that. Think we were leaving. Like, I feel like the club was like closing yeah. soon. But why, why like, I, was sure. he leaving the same time as us? I think so. We're like, buddy, come okay. to this picture with us. He's like, okay. <laughs> was That's so right. Proud. Yes. So then we're like, okay. There was a, yeah. that. Really funny. But we got some good yeah, photos. So that was that. It was a, we had some good photos. So there. all in all, even though we were waiting, we and got what I, we needed after because, because people was, who left were like, how did you get all these photos? I'm like, you just stuck he around. came after you left, basically. And basically it was after the, the public transit closed for the evening because I believe we left yeah. at like four in the morning, two or three in the morning. It was very late. I think it was like, yeah, I think it was like two o'clock in the morning. Two in the morning, maybe I think when the bar yeah. closed. So like, I can't get back to Hamilton. So I went to Sophia's and crashed on her floor. Yeah. Uh, and then I was like, I'll just leave early in the morning. I'm like, oh, it's Sunday and the public transit's also garbage today. So um, but then we went to eat so breakfast like, at McDonald's. 
Yes, that's right. I forgot about that. And I had to like, yeah. So that was that. And then, and then also, there was also in the 2011, the Nick Carter CD signing. Yep. Um, that was a pretty fun, entertaining day. We were there like 10 o'clock in the morning, I think, to get a good spot. I think at one point it started raining. So they let us line up inside. They did. Um, we made lots of fun signs. We uh, at one point, Trinzi and I went up to the top uh, of the stair where he's gonna, where Nick was gonna be signing. Yes, and I was pretending to be Nick. Yeah, and and Trinzi was my fan, and I was pretending to sign autographs for my fan. It was very funny. It was very funny. We were so bored because we were like just waiting there. <laughs> and then by the day. time he came, um, we couldn't we couldn't take photos of him together. We just did an autograph signing because you know before like at another HMV event that he had, we did photos. That was afterwards. That wasn't. The yeah, time. that was a different event. I'm just trying to see if I could. I'm trying to see if you had posted the pictures for that. I posted it on Twitter just uh, a couple hours ago. If you want to check there. Okay. But I also have it on I Facebook. I feel like it was in the summer. Where did our Twitter go? Um, yeah. I just posted like four po photos, but like as he's okay, signing so autographs, August City TV is like yeah. interviewing him. It's so funny. Yes. He's like, excuse me, can can we interview you while you're signing autographs? And then I think he's like, I love Toronto. Yes, so here he is getting. Yes. So then we were also on the screen as well. Yes. Um, and then what I did is I had a bunch of post-it notes. So I wrote our names on it and put the post-it note on the CD. So then he, when he would sign, he would write our names. And then he just started doing that automatically for everyone else. Um, yes, that's why the trend started. We did good. I feel like I thought it was in, was it in my Facebook memories? Why can I not see this? Yeah, so there's the Facebook uh, album that I have, if you want to. Okay, one sec. Look it up, I don't know. Uno momento, por favor. But that's when we like um, Jason Turner was like a lawyer slash manager oh God, for him. him. And yes. we loved him. He was great. And then Mike as well. I think uh, Mike was great as well. So we yes. had uh, yes. signs yes. for him too. Like I said, we were there like all day. So we were like making signs for everyone. Yes. I think at one yes. point we had like um, maybe like a troll. And then I like threw the troll to like Mike and I was like, here you go. I think it was so too. very like, funny. I don't know why. Yeah, I think like, we and just, then this lady just randomly made a sandwich inside. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll share. It was a good time. Popped up. I think so we're also we, like, in the city TV like round like oh, roundup. Yeah. Yes. I think yeah. Uh, video. Yes. So I made we love Mike. And on YouTube, Nick, and really small, like that was that. Mm -hmm. uh, this was all of us just hanging out in HMV, making signs and bored out of our minds. Um, yeah. For some reason, I decided I wanted to alter my um, album because the album was called I'm Taking Off. So then in brackets below, I put my pants. Yes, it was very funny. <laughs> put an American dollar and then I made, made Nick sign it. And he yeah, it's like, like, did you? Did you see my new um, update? And he's like, my pants. <laughs> <laughs> he loved it. I feel like Nick, Nick is into fun. those fun things that we do. Like, uh, here am I saying stupid shit to you. But yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so that was that. We also did, um, he did a little mini road trip uh, tour in November of 2011. So November yes. 4th to 6th. So he did um, Mississauga. Belleville. Belleville. Ontario and Montreal. So the we bench is when the girl was asking him, why did you go to Belleville? And he's like, it's on the way. So this is why we did it. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> so ridiculous. So I was like, this is like a very random place to choose, but sure. Basically he announced Montreal first. Um, and so we bought tickets for Montreal and it was on a Saturday. So we didn't need to take days off work or anything like that. We were fine. Then he announced the Mississauga show on the Thursday. So we're like, okay, Thursday, that's fine, whatever. 
And then they announced the Belleville show because Belleville is about halfway between like Toronto and Montreal. So it's about three hours. So we're yeah. like, should we go to this too? We're like, well, we're on our way. We're going to Montreal anyways. Might Basically as well. the way they thought about it, uh, we're on their way, on the way as well. So might as well do that show as well. Might as well. So we, I didn't do a VIP for Mississauga. I don't know if you did. Yeah, we we did too. I thought we went to both. No, we did we did the VIP for Belleville and we did the Montreal one. Oh, okay, yes. Is what thing. So then our friend Janae Janae and Sherelle came and Sophia's like, Oh, my friends are coming from the States. And I was like, Okay, cool. They're like, Can we drive them to Montreal? I was like, Okay, sure, whatever. Um, what are their names? And she's like, Janae and I don't know. So we're like, To be fair, I hadn't I hadn't known no, I said Sherelle. Did I know? Sh- yeah, I thought I knew. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember. I feel like I knew Janae and Sherelle because I had met them in New York for the Highland Ballroom. Okay, so but they- I might have been just close with Janae at the time, and yes. I didn't really know Sherelle that well. So, we so I them- said, oh, "Yeah, I think I, I think so. I think I just said Janae and her friend." Yes. So we did the Mississauga show, and then I think we came back to my house. Yeah, and slept over because our friend Erin wasn't coming to the other stuff. So she, we had like driven a bunch of people. So some other people we dropped off, and then the next day we left for Belleville, and we all kind of went together. And then after Belleville, Janae drove to Montreal because I was too tired. I was like, hey, yeah, because we went and at I night. Said, we left at night. We left right after the Belleville concert, yeah. and I said, hey, just so you know. The GPS will not work in Montreal because it was like an older GPS and it's like rude or whatever. I'm like, I've printed out MapQuest directions for you. Once we cross the border, use the MapQuest directions. Did they use the MapQuest directions? No, they did not. And Chinzia was asleep. And then I am awoken up in an industrial area of Quebec and I'm like, what they're like oh the the gps took us here i was like no 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 no. the place was not on the gps i told you to use the paper oh we thought we would just use this and i was like wrong place then i had to get my blackberry and i had to like map us and we were like half an hour away so then we like finally get to like this the shittiest hotel ever it was called the hotel motel villa or something something like that yeah and it was like it, it shared a wall with the venue, which was great. And there were some people already camping out because it was like a GA concert. Uh, yeah. We got there at like four in the morning or something. And then we go to check in and they're like, I'm like, where can we park? They're like, oh, there's a parking lot across the street, but don't park there. You'll get robbed. I'm like, okay, great. So they're like, here, take this. And they sent gave me a map of where to go park. So I was like, okay, perfect. So I was like at another hotel, right? Nobody came with me. Everybody else just got out of the car and stayed at the motel. I was like, okay, fine. I'll just drive by myself at four in the morning. So I get there and it's like three or four blocks away. And it was I think you told us to do that, no? Parking garage of another hotel, of a fancier hotel. It was hilarious. And then I was walking back, somebody cat called me, but it was in French. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna pretend this is a compliment. I don't care. And it was just like the shittiest venue ever. Like, is that the time when we're like, yet. um, you were like, I'm gonna go call down to the <laughs> the reception. I'm like, dude, yeah, if they don't have a heater, they don't have a phone. They didn't have phones. I was like, the heater, it was freezing. I have to go get a heater. So they they gave me a physical the heater. And then no, all closed on it. I and no, no, it did not almost close on me. It did close on oh, me. It did now close on you. I'm bringing this this heater, which was a big like it basically <laughs> looked like a screen TV, a flat screen TV. So I couldn't get in that way. So I had to go in sideways. So as I go into this elevator the elevator door is closing and every other elevator i've seen up until this point in my life is that when it hits something the door opens yes this did not do that it <laughs> just trapped me there so now i am stuck wedged in this half in and half out of this elevator holding this giant heater and i'm like trying to like hit the door open button <laughs> without seeing things and Meanwhile, the girls were like, what the hell is taking so long? So they come down the staircase and they see me trapped in an elevator. And what do they do? They just laugh and laugh and laugh. I was like, you guys are such assholes. No, we we have to laugh, I I think. Yes. So then eventually, but it was just like a really crappy hotel. Um, But. And then 
Remember we woke up and then we found out that the door doesn't lock either? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we're yeah. like, we've been I sleeping with the door unlocked. We just assume that the door automatically locks because that's how it works at other hotels, but yeah. not at one. And then, yeah, it was just like, it was just And then hilarious. I think Chinzia like went to the washroom and then I opened the door because I heard yelling. And then the guy was like, open that damn door so you can suck my dick and i was like what the hell is happening in this hotel yeah it was, it was so then i closed the door back up and i was like yep not going out there yeah no it was funny but anyways back to the nick part of this sorry that was that it was very it was very funny but this yeah. is belleville was the vip in which i yeah. told nick that it looked like he crapped his pants yeah. and because the pants were show. like so he was wearing these pants almost. that were very tight in the leg but very like loose in the ass part for some reason the penis area in the front yes whatever yeah. so anyway so he was just like talking and he's like who was at the show yesterday in mississauga and we're like Woo! and he's like what didn't you like about the show this was his problem he said what didn't you like and of course everyone's like you're wonderful everything was amazing blah 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 and then and i'm like your pants. Are like this <laughs> I go, your pants. And he's like, what? I was like, your pants. He's like, my pants. I was like, they're really like baggy in the um, crotch area. And it kind of looked like you shit yourself. And he's like, what? <laughs> I was like, we were dying of laughter. Nothing. I was also overly tired at this point. And he's like, what? He's like, he's like, they're loose. Cause you know, when I see the, the good looking ladies in the crowd, you know, I need more space. And when I'm dancing and stuff and he's like giving this like ridiculous explanation, everyone's like, Oh, and then I'm like, no, it still looks like you shit yourself. <laughs> just like, why do I keep talking? <laughs> it was so funny. It was I so laughed. funny. So and then when we were in Montreal, we had bought the VIP last minute. We're like, screw it. We're going to do this too. When people were like asking questions, they're like, Nick, what do you think about like fanfics? And oh my God. Like, yes. I just thought of this. Yes. And he's like, oh, they're terrible. What a horrible thing. It's so mean. And then he was like saying all this stuff. I know. And we're like, I don't think he knows. And then it's all silent. And we're all like staring at him confused. And he's like, what? And we're like, and he's like, our fanfics are bad, right? And we're like, what? We're like, they're stories of, oh, they're stories. Oh, like sexy stories. Oh, okay. We're like, what, what are you reading that you think it's bad, fanfiction? I was like fucking dying. And then I was laughing so hard that I snorted. Oh my God. It was so funny. And then which I, and Nick's like, oh, well, the people in Canada like to snort a lot or whatever. And then so he was like, it's the same person. <laughs> it was for yesterday too. And then they're like, what's wrong? With and that? then he was like, it's okay. I snort too. It was so funny. Yeah. Oh my God. It was like the funniest. Oh my God. Good times, man. Good times. It was, but that was, that was 2011, man. 2011 was a good year. Like we, like we said, 2011 was like such a good BSB year. There was so many we, like, things. They almost knew who we were. Like it was so good. We like saw them so oh, often oh my God. and stuff. I think also then, I had won two contests for, uh, at the revival during this yes. time. Is that 2011 as well? I think so because um, his white tank top seems familiar, and I feel like he wore that at the revival as well. Yes, um, and you know what else? One last thing to close off the year of twenty eleven. Sorry, because I have never won anything in my life. No, so you won two. You winning won from the once yeah. was amazing, but winning twice, I was like, oh my gosh! Finally, good luck. Because at that around that time my dad was like not doing so well so i got like um a little bit of excitement good news with other stuff so that took my mind off things so i was like yes was that 2011 or was that 2010 sorry was that 2011 or 2010 yeah i think it was he was getting he was like sick or almost or maybe he died i don't know something like that yes Okay, so then what I was going to say is... Yeah, was, like during yes, that it was year, he was like in the process of declining in health. Yes, so we did that. So so yes. that was like a Nick solo event that he did at uh, in Toronto. So we got to... Yes. So Sophia took us and we got to go. Yeah. Um, but in 2011, what closed off the year is that they also had BSB Cruise 2011, which was their second cruise. Yes. Um, so yes, because they did a cruise also in 2010. 
they did a 2010 cruise and you were yes you were and i couldn't go to that cruise. one because my dad had just you passed are. away yes okay yes yeah so he had passed so already 2011. Yes. so you weren't there on that one the 2010 cruise is when i got videos for you yes from yes because we were because he passed like two weeks before yeah. and i was like yeah i can't leave my mom yeah no for sure obviously yes yeah. you had so much stuff that you're to do and stuff so but yeah, Sorry, I, didn't was... to, I don't mean to bring it down. Uh, no, wait. that's not like that's your life, buddy. That's what happened. Yeah. So that's why you were on the 2010, but you were on this 20. But yeah, then I went to the 2011 because I was like, um, I've processed it. Uh, I need a break. I need some fun things to happen. So the year uh, accumulated with the cruise, a lot of fun 2011 stuff, and now the cruise. Yes, and here's you and AJ. Yes. And this was, what was so we night? hustled pretty good the this cruise because this cruise we um this. each day we got a picture with Howie and then another boy. Another boy. Yes. This oh my god. Is our favorite Howie picture in this album? I believe so. God, I gotta to find it. Oh look, there's yes, it's right Christmas there. Like... I see it. Right there. Scroll down. Yes. yes. <laughs> Look so when me. Howie drinks, he's even funnier than when he's like sober because and his he just eyes lets get it droopy. Go. It's just yeah. so funny. So this was like probably like two or three in the morning, and Howie's just yeah. like it's so funny. I think he was like mid wink or like I don't know what he was doing, but I was like, oh my god, Howie, you're the best. So funny. And then we also, because this was the year that AJ and Rochelle had become engaged. So we had made yes. a fan um, book. So people had put like scrapbook pages and they mailed it to me. So we put that together and we gave that to AJ. And it was really cute. It was, it was very like, sweet. Well wishes. And this was our Howie picture of the day on the beach day. So we got those. Yes. Our friend Aaron. Uh, oh, you also got Nick as well i think yeah. i pushed you in there to get i believe you did yes because i i don't know like, i don't like to be like other people and push so i think i was like oh I was like, Go. and then kevin was back so kevin kevin came for that kevin, one day at the beach party or day at the beach party. yeah he just came for that one day um and the closest and we got was like pictures concert. close to him and that's it because people like, were like pushing oh it was crazy we tried so hard to get a Kevin picture, but could not. Yeah. It was but then intense. when he came back, but, we went to the GMA uh, rehearsal and he, we got a picture there, a group picture. Yes. And then oh, when he was this on This day was funny oh. because at in the evening, Aaron was like, oh, today is so bad. We didn't get any pictures with the guys. And then you and I are like, uh, you got a naked picture with Nick? Like you got a shirtless Nick picture. Sorry, like, oh I my said God, naked. Today, I'm like, oh shirtless. my God, Sorry. this day has been so long. Like it was really yes, day. that's how long of a day it was that it was we completely like, forgot that we got a shirtless Nick. Oh yeah, so that was a fun way to end off 2011 with yeah. the cruise. So again, so we had. So then we're like, the what are what what can happen next? What fun things could happen? Could it top 2011? I don't think it no. did, but. <laughs> 2011 was so busy it was so good we went to everything basically in toronto yeah it was a lot of fun so if you were at any of those events or obviously know. whatever cities were close by that was, that travel. was crazy for sure that was a good it was a yeah. good travel year Got it was a good of, travel a year it was good memories yes lots of good fun. time Oh yeah, so there you go. So, so there our, you go. There's our 2011 shared. We just thought like we always seeing these memories on Facebook. So we thought we would take a stroll down memory lane and talk about NKOT BSB, BSB coming, ways. Nick and Howie coming so many times to Toronto. Now we're lucky if we even get them to come. Now it's every few years. Maybe yeah. they might show up. I don't know. We do have Nick coming. We do have Nick coming up. Week. Yep uh september october i believe yeah september, september 30th and october 4th and 5th i believe so, is the friday saturday yeah so we'll be that that's the who am i tour who i am who i am who i am tour so that'll be that yeah um, we always get it mixed up because um mixed up with yeah sorry we mixed it up sorry it's all good it happened um, yeah so there you go so and Nick was at Niagara Falls in November, so it's not like we haven't seen him, just he hasn't come into Toronto for a while. But now he will be 
So something to look forward to. Something to look forward to in the. And obviously, he like went to '90s Con in um, last year. Last year, March of last year. But uh, was it March? He did. Oh, he did. When was it? When did he go? Because March they canceled because they had to. They go canceled. Sorry, the the year that you went. Sorry. Two years ago. Two years ago. Yes. Anyway, so sorry. There you years go. are flying by. Sometimes they're meshing together. People. Yes. So, but yes, go. that's the fun things that we get to do. We appreciate those memories. And you know, one year maybe, like yes, and yeah, 2011 was a good time because a lot of these things were very inexpensive as well. Yes, and then and obviously when that. demand and people are just buying them, it's going to go up in price. Um, they want it to be quick. Um, yeah. so they took away some of the VIP tiers. Yeah. Now it's just one pet price, yes. which is like $500. And then if you do the conversion, it's like 750. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows what the prices will be next year? Who knows? But well, uh, hopefully they still it's not have that not much. announced their big announcement that they keep claiming that's going to happen. So, so he said September that's in three weeks. All right, we'll see. We'll see if that's actually well, true. Well, as we record this, that's in three weeks. Yes, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Do you think it's going to be the Millennium 2.0? I've heard rumors about that, but I've also heard rumors about tons of other things. And, I've all, yeah, I've heard that as like, well. Oh, they're going to be touring with NSYNC or there's this, whatever, the Space yeah. Girl. I'm like, hey, you're probably not doing yeah. any of these So things. better to wait, low expectations, low, like just low at the bottom because I feel like things that they think are playing it up, they think it's a big deal and sometimes it doesn't uh, and sometimes it mean doesn't that happen. it's a big deal like it is to them. Or timing is off or something yes. like that and things end up not happening. So who knows uh, what is going to happen for next year, but I'm sure but we're whatever excited. It is, Hopefully, fun. you know, we were sad when they didn't um, get to do their Christmas album tour. Yeah. That would have been cool. Well, you never know. They might do it this year. Who knows? True. Yeah, that's true. They could do many things. They can do anything. Who knows? Yeah. Yep. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this stroll down memory lane with us. So there you go. So yes. Uh, okay. Well, thanks for taking a break with us, guys. Until next time. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.